Good morning folks, it's Paul here from All About Motorbikes, how are you all doing? And we're a difference in a day again, eh? no wind, sunshine, a bit cold, the gritters have been out unfortunately, but it's still nice. You can't really grumble about the weather that we've had. And as I was saying, it's so good to still be able to come out. I mean, last year, as I said before, you know, we we were still having snow. The beach from the east was sort of calming its ugly head down. But this year, we've uh, been honestly been able to just get out most of the year. January, February and March without any real issues. We've had the odd couple of days where it's been awful. You know, we can't really knock what we've had so far. I had a little problem with my camera. This is why I haven't been filming for a while. I didn't realise it though. Now what was happening, it was filming the uh, video perfect. Absolutely perfect. And, um, but it wasn't filming any sound from the mic. So, on the Drift Ghost X, the port for to charge and also to put the mic is the same one. It's worked off a micro USB, I believe it's called. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't uh, working at all. And what I'd done is I'd gone out and I'd made quite a few films. But obviously not checked them, thinking I'll save them up, store them up, and then one the, this weekend, I'll uh, on Friday, I thought for some strange reason I'll check them out, and I'm I'm bloody glad I did because the there was no audio. And I was gutted because there was quite a lot of footage there that uh, would have been reasonable, a good few topics that I'd spoken about, and uh, they weren't usable. So what I did was I contacted Drift, sent them an email, but I also contacted the shop that I took it back to, um, uh, that I bought it from, should I say, and that was MSG Gear. They kindly said, bring it in, and uh, what we generally do is if it is faulty, we'll have a little check, we'll uh, send it back to drift and you should hear something within two weeks I thought fair enough so at dinner time whilst I was at work on Friday I took it in and um, the gents there were absolutely marvellous you know the really good considerate kind said oh definitely got a problem with this Paul <coughs> we'll send it back to drift I said fair enough Give them my uh, address details, blah blah blah, and contact details, should I say. And went back to the bike. As I got back to the bike, I thought, actually, I best take my um, 128 gigabyte SD card out of the camera. So I walked back to the shop. I said, I, I've, Can I actually have my uh, SD card, folks? They said, oh, We were just going to come out and uh, see you. I had a word with the lad upstairs and he said, Drift, they'll only tell us to replace it so you can have a replacement unit. And there's your SD card. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So now I'm hoping that um, this is the first test that I'm using, or that I'm doing on this new uh, Ghost. Uh, so I'm hoping that this is very usable footage. So hopefully it'll come out nice. The weather forecast really nice all this weekend, folks. It's not bad at all. And it's getting uh, near to the town where we're doing the uh, North Coast 500, which is absolutely brilliant. I cannot wait for that. I'm so looking forward to that. Um, I do intend to do a video on the kit I'm taking. I know Graham Calvert's done one all about um, all about adventures with Woody. He's done um, a kit, a sort of a review of some of the kit that he's taken on his journey. And I thought, well, that's not a bad idea. For those who don't know what to take on the tours and stuff like that, who knew, I'm going to show you what I'll be taking. Now, bearing in mind that this will be just my point of view. 
no one else it's just what I'm taking it's what I feel comfortable with taking because what I don't want to do is go there and and you know need somewhere and I haven't got it so and I'm not going to go over the board either I'm not going to go too much and take far too much and wear this bike down I'm not going to do that because that's not where I want to do either so I'll give this bike a thorough clean on uh, <coughs> Sunday because the rain on Saturday gone was torrential and we had flooding all over the north of England um, so on Sunday it was quite dry so I thought right I'll get out I even cut my grass which was unbelievable after a heavy downpour the day before the grass was dry enough to cut don't ask me why or how I don't know but I uh, give this bike an absolute thorough clean and I went to town on it inside and out de-salting it, de-everything it I mean I've come back out today and the salt on the ground but that's part and parcel of biking for me you've got to take that if you want to ride your bike you've got to be you know be prepared to do it and then get on the night give it a rinse off again that's all I do and uh, a little blow dry to make sure it's dry so it's had a rinse and then it's had a blow and then at the weekend again it gets another thorough deep clean but that's because I absolutely love biking and it's a price, a small price I'll say to pay for getting out on this bike and riding this beast to work I'm never stuck in the traffic I mean I've got my panties on today so that I, that'll make me less likely to filter so yeah really looking forward to uh, this week hopefully on Saturday coming I'm gonna have a meet up with my good friend Graham Calvert hopefully now he's planning a coastal trip from where he lives towards Scarborough following the coastal road well not so much the coastal road from Scarborough to Whitby but to Whitby where I shall meet him at the Whalebones so I'll meet him there at the Whalebones I hate where there's traffic all around us and then what we're going to do is we're going to have a trip over towards Staves and Saltburn so that'll be a, a little tour for me and him again so we'll bring you the footage of that hopefully the weather stays good enough that we can actually do that because I'm looking forward to that but this time when we go I'm taking some of my little stove kit and stuff like that I was, uh, I'll tell you another little story as well, the uh, pin lock in here obviously we've been having cold weather and I, I do occasionally take it off just so I can clean the actual lenses um, because the last time I put it on there was a, a gap in there so I normally take them off and clean the lenses but what I did this time I I laid it on a cloth over a radiator which warmed it right up and it made it more and more flexible then so when I put it back on this time I've closed the gap so the gap's not there anymore which is brilliant so now I've got fogging on the very outer skin of the uh, visor but nothing where the pin lock is so that's brilliant that seems to have solved that problem so I would say if you do have issues with your pin lock folks definitely consider heating the pin lock up uh, before you pour it in I'm not saying blistery not neither but warm it up to make it that little bit more flexible and that, that does enable it to actually fit a little bit more snugly and nicer top tip of the tip so I was messing on with my heated grips as well because I'd noticed there was a little slight fault for some strange reason on the heated grips Taken, took the wire off the battery and repositioned it in a different position and it's working perfect now I still can't fathom out why it wasn't anyway but it is now it's working perfect that's one thing if I didn't have on this bike, definitely, and it's a must I'd say would be heated grips. You need heated grips. Yes, if you're only riding the summer months and 
the temperature is about 20 degrees obviously you don't need them but if you do what I do and like so many of my friends know uh, such as Graham Calvert, Paul Stonehouse, um, Ayrshire Vlogs of Mark Keane and all those fellas who, like them we ride all year round you know so um, it's a must you must have 80 grips on because I remember riding with the Viking buddies Paul Stonehouse and friends uh, during uh, winter last winter and we were heading out over towards Scarborough and Oliver's Mount and my hands were freezing I think it was the same time that um, Paul Stonehouse got a flat tyre on his uh, bike but my hands were so cold it was unbelievable so hence why heated grips now I'm afraid has to be I tend to when I get to about 10 degrees I don't put them on as much it's like early mornings commute to work when the temperature hasn't got above 5 6 degrees it's and especially when you're traveling along at like 16 70 miles an hour on roads like this the wind chill factor is a lot you know it makes it a lot cooler so your hands tend to get a little bit colder hence why I need the heated grips but once it gets past 10 11 12 degrees there is no need for them really I've got me little um, what do you call it poor man's cruise control on so my hand is absolutely free again and I'm traveling along maintaining the speed of just 70 miles an hour I've got my hand back on there because the heated grips are on and I don't see the point of having them on if I'm not going to have my hands on but it does take that strain away from your wrists and uh, also your grip you know you can relax and make the ride a little bit more enjoyable now today I haven't got my um, air hawk on I've uh, kept it off today with it giving the bike a good deep thorough clean I didn't have to, I haven't put it back on I forgot all about it if I'm honest but on such a small ride anyway of 20 mile it's not a problem I don't get too uncomfortable it, the last time I uh, rode over 60 mile I started getting a bit of a numb bum hence why Graham very kindly gifted me the air hawk I think I'm old enough about my bum <laughs> oh, oh dear I've got to help this lad out so folks all is well then hope um, that this video does come out to you because I really do want to make some videos for you and I'll tell you what I am so looking forward to making the video with Graham on Saturday if the weather plays ball anyway what I'm going to say folks is I'm nearly at work now it's been a pleasure to come along and say something to you and give you an update on what's happening and also you know just to get a video out for you guys give you something to watch it may not be worth watching it may be worth watching but from me Paul from All About Motorbikes bye for now bye